Journey of a Forager Ant Imagine a scene in which a lone ant finds food that is too big for it to carry on its own. In such a case, the lone ant must recruit other foraging ants to help bring the food back to the colony. However, if ants don't have acute visual systems, and most don't hear in ways that we would think about, then how exactly do they pass the message along? How do ants communicate? The Wonderful World of Pheromones Pheromones have several practical purposes, such as trail making, defense warnings, and distinguishing friend from foe. Ants use pheromones composed of fatty acids to create either long-lasting or short-term trails. Long-lasting pheromones create trails that ants can follow back, and short-term pheromones are used to send warnings and block off dead ends. Ants process pheromones in the portion of the olfactory lobe called the glomeruli. Ants can even pass pheromones to one another via food by regurgitating food into the mouth of the other ant. We're ants and we're trying to look for food. Okay, follow me. At this point, the ant will release a trail of long-lasting pheromones. These pheromones will help this ant and the ant it teaches to find the food source again. In this way, multiple ants can get to the same food source. One method for teaching another ant where to find food is what's called a tandem run. Tandem running is one of the only examples of a bi-directional pupil-teacher relationship outside of humans. This means that while the teacher is obviously instructing the pupil, the pupil is helping to find new and straighter ways to the food. This is more than just follow the leader. With each subsequent generation, the pupils help to find straighter and cleaner ways to the food. Touching the antennae is a way to let the other ant know that it is needed. Here, they are following the pheromone trail back to the food. This is an example of a bi-directional pupil-teacher relationship, whereby the pupil can teach the first ant better ways to find the food. This particular ant is not a very good pupil, but in general, this is how it works. Some ants can do a version of the bee's waggle dance that shows the direction and quantity of food by the amount of wiggling. Others will strike their mandibles together to create vibrations that will carry meaning. Other ants will pass along messages simply by touching antennae, which is how pheromones are received. The Human Perspective some of these experiences are within our realm of imagination, like a teacher teaching a pupil a new skill. However, others are beyond any real human analogy, like sensing your entire world through smell and pheromones. We hope you've enjoyed our short presentation on ants and pheromones and now perhaps have a better understanding of what it would be like to experience the world as if you were an ant. Thank you.